in this issue of Fashion Classics, an insider's track to the best of bridal. Experience the magic of Badgley Mishka. It's like this is the girl's Oscar. Hardly anybody goes to the Oscars, but every girl can get married. Go behind the scenes at the Bridal Bible, Brides Magazine. Many women love to dream about what their wedding day will be like. Our goal is to help make that dream a reality. Meet designer Monique Ludier, who puts a new spin on bridal dressing. Every season, I try and introduce a new element to the pieces to make them look fresh. At Carolina Herrera, a sophisticated tradition reigns. It's one of my favorite shows, it's a bridal show. I think it's so beautiful because it's full of hope. And we'll get some advice from real brides-to-be. Just relax, stay calm, and not to get crazy. Just enjoy your day. It should last you a lifetime. And more next. Monique Lillier's beautifully modern dresses are a fashionable find for any bride. It wasn't long ago that her passion became a reality. Well, this is Tom Bugney, my husband and business partner. Um, let's see, we've been married now for seven years, and we started the company a year after we got married. So she already had the design background, and then after we went through our whole wedding process, and that's when she decided that she could do it better, and that was really the beginning. I'm a CPA, so that, which is actually the perfect compliment, because then she does all the design side of the business, and I take care of all the other stuff that she shouldn't have to worry about, so it's, it's actually a good combination. The couple recently came to New York in order to get ready for their very first runway show. Monique's inspiration was a cross between vintage 70s and ethereal romance. This gown right here is more of my sheath looking dresses and it's um, a tunic neckline, very much influenced by the 70s. Um, I thought that would be interesting to bring that back into bridal. And I love the butterflies because we wanted to make it, give it more of an ethereal feel and so that's why we have the butterflies on there. And this lace is really just threads woven together to create that interesting texture. I've been doing bias now for the last um, four years and it's one of the stronger silhouettes in my collection um, and it has been through the years. Um, the sleeves I did with the buttons and the loops, again, very much with that 70s feel. Well, I think um, the girls who come to, to, to us for a wedding dress want something a little more modern and um, like sophisticated and just not the same like bridal gown that they see out there. A lot of my dresses, it's all about the back because that's what your guests see for like 30 minutes to an hour. So there's always gotta be a back detail. In this particular gown, it's, it's the back drape that it has. And then it always has the trains. We would bustle this for the reception after. These are some silhouettes that work wonderfully on different um, body types. Um, this is that traditional A line, you know, with a fuller bottom right here. And these lines are very forgiving, so even if you're short waisted or if you're a little heavier on the hips, it's a very forgiving silhouette. And this look right here is um, a two-piece, which um, I did very well with also in the last season. Girls are loving the flexibility of the two-piece, and it, this has the pockets. It's a nice fitted skirt with a nice sweep train, and then it's a heavily beaded bodice. But it's a nice way of making something so formal, a little less stiff. Here is one of our really also best sellers. It's a classic ball gown with a satin bodice in a silk satin organza skirt. And the detail, it's a very simple silhouette, but then the details are here. You see, you get the bows on the back and just the, those buckles, those beaded buckles. I always say don't over accessorize and also be true to your own personal style. Um, and if and don't experiment on that day because um, usually, yeah, if you're pushing the limits that day, you regret it. What makes a bridal gown so special are all the details that go into it. Um, the silhouettes may be simple, but then the techniques that we use to make them special are what really you know, makes the garments ultimately shine.
Many women dream about their wedding day their entire lives. They want to be surrounded by their family and friends, surrounded by flowers, looking absolutely beautiful. They'll be presenting themselves to their family and friends as the woman they've become on their wedding day. It's a very, very important day. There are very few occasions in our life when we walk into a room and every head turns and all eyes are on us. And when all eyes are on you, everything should be as perfect as it can be from the flowers to your gown. Taking the stress out of the decision-making process is Brides Magazine, the Bible of style for brides-to-be. Our readers are women who've read every other fashion and beauty book out there before they became engaged. They are very savvy. We get our trends from runway shows, from top makeup artists, celebrity makeup artists, and what we do is interpret that trend to make it an appropriate look for the engaged woman. When a woman gets engaged, she, can, she feels like she can pick up brides for the first time and really read it and accept all the, the accolades and the joy of the people around her. I think it's so important for the bridal uh, collection because I think uh, every bride-to-be buys the bride magazine. Well-known makeup artists like Bobby Brown agree. Oh, I love Brides Magazine. You know, every everyone I know has ever gotten married has always tucked a Brides Magazine under their arm. What I want to do is create the most compelling, absorbing, seductive photograph. We have beautiful product that I've already edited, so I know that. I have something wonderful here I want to share with the reader. And now the next thing is to sell it. The table is a canvas and you're putting down colors and textures and mixing and matching and being expressionistic or being traditional. The more the reader is exposed to product, new ideas, new styles, new trends, especially when the authority of the magazine is behind it. the wedding dress. It's the, it's the ultimate icon piece of garment a woman is going to buy in her lifetime. And it's such a statement, that's why they're a nervous wreck looking for it, first of all. So we try and help them out. For many, an out-of-town wedding can be tempting, but the local makeup artist is an unknown quantity. Your best bet? Arrive with a kit full of pro tips. My wedding is just a few weeks away, so I'm here at Henry Bendel to hopefully get a, a couple of uh, makeup tips on how to do my own makeup. I want to look like the blushing bride I'm supposed to be, and you know, hopefully not become somebody different than who I am, but just look like me only better. Makeup pro Matten generously shared some insider tips. Start with a good foundation. Always touch your foundation in the flat areas and then use the nose and forehead and chin at the last. So uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I see in makeup is these women, they have one blemish and they treat the entire skin for the that skin. one blemish. Right. And that's how they look very cakey and heavy. It's very lightly powder, translucent, it has no mm -hmm. color at all. That way you don't have to worry about um, dragging, the color dragging. Last thing I want brides to mm -hmm. worry about is to go into, oh my god, my makeup, is that okay? Is right, it running? Right. I know some women say, where's the apple, right? Right. So smile big, and wherever you see, smile big, and right in here, that's the apple of your cheek. So you, you start, okay. most of the color goes on this, right on the apple, and then very quickly, you kind of diffuse it. Eyebrows are important. Um, you don't need to make them look painted, but you just basically go right into the arch first. Start from the arch, really bring it out, and very lightly color the inside so it doesn't look painted. Out. I'm going to line your eyes in a certain way. It's a bit different than what you might have seen before. I'm going to use a dampened brush, the cake liner. This way, you're, you'll be sure that even if you swim, your eyeliner would stay. 
Really? <laughs> yes. A lot of blue-eyed girls, they would obviously go into tops and browns. Mm -hmm. For the wedding, I don't think it's the most flattering look for a bride okay. to have brown eyeshadows. Um, it's good for work. Usually, if you can afford um, going without anything on the bottom of the eyes, I prefer it because um, that way you don't have to resort on heavy um, cleanup at the end when you cry. You mean mascara and liner? And liners. Both, both yeah, of both. Them. Yeah. Okay. Chin up, look down. You wiggle the brush at the root of the lashes and very quickly work to the tips. So the tips are not overloaded with pigment. Is that a colored mascara? I'm using navy on you. I especially love navy um, with brown eyes, mm -hmm. especially, because it really makes them sparkle. And with blue, of course, it complements it because it's similar, you know, right. family. I'm gonna go kind of soft, beautiful, you know, princess look. So even if you're like allergic to pinks, for the wedding day, it's nice to go for pinks and peaches. If you line your lips, I would like to fill them in completely with liner and then put on the lipstick. That way, when you kiss or you eat, you're not gonna have that contour around your lips. Voila. Voila. That's all you need. <laughs> oh, great. Wow. We caught up with some real life brides-to-be at Henry Bendel's Girls' Night and asked them to show us a little bling bling. Well, it's, um, it's the Tiffany Lucida style and what I loved about it is its simplicity. He picked it out, he did everything on his own and I love it. It's round, sparkly and um, it's actually a surprise. My fiance picked it up by himself, so. It's uh, Asher cut uh, one carat. Uh, Rob did a really good job. <laughs> um, it's an antique, it's in the family and I love it. And my dad's a jeweler, so I did pretty good this time. I <laughs> guess. Okay. <Can> you see? <laughs> my mother used to do bridal, so it's sort of a natural thing for me to do. After years of outfitting celebrity brides, designer Richard Tyler recently showcased a full bridal collection. The setting, the atrium of his West Village townhouse, was as beautiful as his gowns. With couture, people were buying one of our gowns and saying they could have it in white, you know, and we thought, maybe we should do bridal. So it was sort of just a natural, natural thing. Some of the fabrics are like $600 a yard. So, but you can have that um, freedom to do that with bridal. Total fantasy. There's um, quite simple, like very, like a slip in the beginning, in a bikini, and, and um, uh, you know, for the setting, you know, I'm not sure if we're going to sell many of those, but but they sort of it looks fun. Um, and then we go into more of a classic, the real classic sort of gown with beautiful faggoting and stitching and triponto stitching, a section of sort of goddess type gowns, which are, you know, because we do a lot of brides in the, being married in their backyard, you know, and with their rose garden and, and uh, on the beach. So there's definitely that element there you'll see. We have a, you know, quite a huge selection. And that's what's great about bride, you don't, you know, the something you made a year ago, you still have the pattern that can still be hanging in the boutique, so somebody can come in and still order that dress. Tyler's alternatives for the modern bride included several rock and roll pieces. You know, I love women's bodies, so um, uh, um, I, I try to um, show it and enhance it and, and um, make sure they feel great. At times, just as challenging as finding the bridal gown is finding the attendance dresses. The young team behind Thread just made things easier. She's the Parsons degree um, girl. So she's I'm the, the technician. She's, she's the designer. I'm, I'm, I'm her stylist. <laughs> <laughs> we felt like Thread, Thread is sort of like the unsung hero of clothing, you know, it kind of holds everything together and it's a very sort of clean 
thread. Our sort of philosophy was to, to design modern dresses um, that would be sort of not fashionable but stylish and um, you know out of luxury fabrics. So a bride can choose a fabric and her bridesmaids can choose the, the silhouette that suits them best. I think we succeeded. This is the miracle dress. It fits everybody. And uh, she comes in all of these colors. This pink, this fuchsia and purple, lilac, lavender, uh, sand with a little green. They're simple details, they are details. Um, the, all these borders have become kind of our signature. It's great for different body types. You can kind of mix and match these two dresses together. Taking two colors that maybe you wouldn't think about putting together and putting them together. But you can see the brighter colors actually underneath. Thread also creates the perfect matching flower girl dresses, bags and shawls, all made to order with the same fabrications. This is actually one of our dresses that moonlights as a bridal dress. I got married in December and this, these are the, the dresses that my bride made for. And the bride wore it too. Just enjoy your day and take a moment and stop throughout the wedding day to actually look around because otherwise it'll pass by and you'll forget the whole, the whole event. Just relax and you know, even if things don't go off perfectly, it's still going to be fine. Um, probably to just stay calm and not to get crazy, which I have a little bit, not to get stressed out, which is kind of hard for me because I'm a little like, I get stressed out. No one cares, you know, if your place setting is exactly so, and if they do care, you know, whatever, that's, that's their own business. Just relish and enjoy and, and love it. It should last you a lifetime. As with every other part of her empire, when it comes to her bridal show, Carolina Herrera is every bit the hands-on designer. Even when it comes to fixing the flowers. I did them myself, so I don't know how they're going to look. Well, you know, I'm, I'm using... Harvey Winston. And I, I'm using diamonds and pearls, mm -hmm. because I think all the brides should be, if they can uh, have a pearl uh, earrings or a necklace or something like that, it's very beautiful. I don't understand these things that they have to be very strong trends in bridal. I don't think they are, you know, they shouldn't because it's a traditional day and uh, the girls want to look beautiful. I don't, I don't agree to have a very sexy bride. There is another occasion to be sexy. So I think because you're wearing white, it should be demure, it should be innocent, it should look like a bride. <laughs> I use a lot of um, Dolce satin and organza and touches of embroidery. And you know, there are some hidden details, luxury details that they like to have because it's a, it's a very important dress if you see. Almost all of my bridal gowns have uh, little buttons in the back. I like the details in the back because the, the girls is always standing to the back for the, to the public, no? So that has to be a strong detail. And you see all these embroideries, which I think are beautiful, and long trains, some of them. I think I always tell the girl who's going to wear the bridal gown, you wear whatever makes you feel well, because they have to feel well in it, and they have to move, and they have to dance, and they have to be happy. And so I always tell them, go alone and choose whatever you think it looks good on you. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shows, it's a bridal show. I think it's so beautiful because it's full of hope. With the bridal dresses, it's 
It's like this is the girl's Oscar. Hardly anybody goes to the Oscars, but every girl can get married. It goes without saying that Mark Badgley and James Mishka are favorites of brides. In this collection, the romance started backstage with a natural palette and hair reminiscent of Botticelli goddesses. The inspiration of the hair, it's sort of like Venus out of a shell, only sort of she's more natural and she's more um, earthly and it's not so liquid and fluid and all that um, beauty. It just has a rough texture to it. The gowns for us this season are more traditional, they're more majestical. We're finding that um, our girls, now more than ever, are not postponing happiness and they want to look like a bride and they want to feel romantic and, and feminine. And I think that's reflected in the gowns today. A lot of dresses this season have a very sort of chiseled tight rib, rib cage and then they go into a very full skirt. We have a lot of different kinds of trains this season, some sort of split pleat trains, some knife pleat trains, some start from the shoulders, some start from the waist, some start from the back of the fishtail. The skirts are very full, whether the volume is through the train or maybe it's huge six layer fishtails but there's a huge sweep to all the skirts of the ball gowns. And that is a little bit of a departure from us because we usually do the more evening gown sort of slinky bridal dresses. A lot of the beadwork is uh, sort of inspired off some traditional vintage jewelry pieces that uh, shows through in the artwork. But as James says, it's really the purity of the fabrics, the most beautiful, lush, six-ply silk crepes, silk and wool satins. Everything's just very pure and it's just all about the quality of the fabric itself. I'm most excited about the honeymoon. Yeah. yeah, we're going to New Zealand for two weeks and I think that just enjoying the fact that you're married after the fact will be great. It's finding the dress is really fun, like trying on all the different designers and stuff. Vera Wang was really fun. Just so excited to have all my friends and family together. Uh, I've actually known my fiance for seven years, so looking forward to it, finally, you know, settling down. I'm really excited just for everybody to have a good time, to just be, play hostess to everybody. That's, that's I think, the most exciting thing. Um, I think I'm excited about the uh, the em emotions of the day, you know? I mean, of, of sharing that with someone that I just can't wait to be his wife and he my husband and all that. That's what I'm, and doing it in front of all my friends and family. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? 